If you're struggling to create a decent mix down, then this is one of my top tips to help you out. You've got to be using reference tracks to compare to your music. So you want tracks that are similar to your music, but also ones that you know sound good in the club or wherever it is you want your music to be heard. And you want them set up in such a way that it's really quickly to compare them against the track you're mixing down by the click of a button. Now you might just pick one track that you like, or maybe you'll pick a couple, but obviously they've got to have some similar characteristics. So have a quick listen to these ones. As you can hear, they've got that similar sort of vibe to them. They're slightly different, but you're never going to find anything that matches perfectly and also. But you've got to go for similar tracks. Then what you want to do is split those up into sections that you find useful. So if you have a listen to this first one, this would be great if I've got a section in my track that is just drums and the bass line. Then when a bit more stuff's happening, like the pads coming in, I've selected a different section. Now, one thing you've got to watch out for here if they are of a similar BPM to your music, you might want to warp them and then set up loops. If they're not of a similar BPM, warping can be a bit dangerous because it brings in some artifacts and degrades the audio. So in that case, just go for the same sort of thing as I've done here. And you can just see all I'm doing is using the start marker to select different parts of the tracks. The next thing to pay attention to is that they are volume matched. You want them both to be of a similar volume. And the way you want to do this is by using your ears, not necessarily focusing on the meters. So again, just have a listen to this first one and then the second one. So you can hear they're of a similar volume. You don't have to be a perfectionist with this, just similar. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed that the second one is peaking much higher on the faders. Let's have a quick look again. And this is because we don't perceive volume as peak value. A much better representation is RMS. So if you're using Ableton Live 9.5, you'll notice on the meters that we've got two clearly distinguishable sort of peaks, if you like. The first one is the peak meter that's the highest. The second, which is the more solid color, is RMS. And as you can see, that's probably about minus eight. And now if we look on that first track, it's very similar. Now, I didn't use that to match. I just used my ears, but I just want to point this out because it's very easy to get suckered into looking at peak values. And what you want is what actually sounds similar. And then the last thing that you want to watch out for is the way that you've got your audio rooted. So at present, this is going to the master. Now that would be a bad idea because if you're mixing down, there's a good chance you might have some compression on there, EQ. If you're at the end of the mix, you might be trying it out with a limiter or doing a bit of mastering. You don't want this track going through that same process. It's got to be clean. It's already been mastered and had these effects applied. So this needs to stay clean. The way you're going to do this is just from that audio too, Select external out and that will bypass the master and then you're comparing your mix down and the mix down stroke mastering of these tracks that you're using side by side exactly as you should. So once you've got that set up, all you're going to need to do is listen to your mix down and then obviously level match again by ear your reference tracks with your mix down. And that's probably going to change over time as you're getting into your mix down, adding different effects and changing the levels and so on. Then all you need to do is turn this track off and the way you're going to get this with a click of a button between your mix down and the reference tracks is just by clicking solo. So it's going to be as easy as
Okay, you know the score by now. These videos are coming out on a regular basis. And if you want to know every time we upload one, subscribing is the best way to find out. So hit the subscribe button, take care, and I'll see you next time.